Hello and welcome! This is Rufalmonger, and my friends, by popular request, we are going to be talking about Potemkin in this video and the concept of Kara Cancels, and specifically what it means for Potemkin, because it means a lot. Now, if you're not aware of what we're talking about, it's basically the property that lets me take basically something like a command grab here and turn it into a sliding command grab with much more range. Uh, before we get into the weeds though, because it applies to a lot more than the command grab, let's talk about the concept. So carrot cancelling means empty cancelling, and we're cancelling the startup of one move into another move, and specifically for Potemkin, we're cancelling the startup of forward and kick, which is his big old shoulder charge. Now here for the rest of the video, I'm going to turn my inputs on so we can see them on the side, so you know what we're talking about. But yeah, forward and kick. This is where everything happens. There's a lot of things you can care cancel and it's all based off of forward and kick your shoulder dash. So what's happening is this, and we'll show this in super slow motion. Uh, compared to the regular command grab, what we're doing here is we're immediately command grabbing after doing our forward kick. And then it basically gives us the property of the forward kick shoulder dash. We keep that forward momentum while we're still command grabbing. So now if you look at my inputs here, you'll see me do the motion for the command grab and I did kick and then punch immediately thereafter. You do not want to hit them at the same time. If you hit them at the same time, you'll just get the command grab instead. You want to hit one a split second. I mean a split second before the other. If you hit them at the same time, it won't work. If you hit one too slow after the other, you'll just get the shoulder charge instead. You effectively want to hit them within a few frames of animation of each other. If you're too sloppy one way or the other, you won't get it. So gotta practice it a little bit and if you get it correctly and once again it's just half circle back forward kick and then punch you'll get your sliding forward command grab now we just talked about the command grab there's a lot more applications so we'll talk about those in a second but the command grab is the one everyone knows about that's the big deal right because well it's simply more range now this normally hits in about six frames so it's not quite as fast as a basic throw but obviously you know, if you've ever seen Potemkin, it does a lot more damage, right? Now, doing this technique of the carry cancel does make the move a little bit slower. So if you're looking for the fastest possible timing, and if you're already right beside the enemy, you don't need to do it. You only need to do it if, for whatever reason, you're just outside of range and it would whiff otherwise. So it does add a few frames of startup to the move, so just keep that in mind. So once again, this is purely off just forward and shoulder. And there's a lot more to talk about, so now is the time to talk about it. Because while the Potemkin Buster is the biggest example, it's hardly the only one. So let's talk something like the Mega Fist. So Mega Fist for Potemkin is a pretty important move. He jumps forward, does a big old punch. You don't want to do it too close because it is punishable on block. But as long as you space it correctly, you're in pretty good company. But, you know... Say from this far away, it can never hit, right? You have to figure out something else because it's never going to hit. Or could it? Because with the power of the Kara Cancel, all of a sudden it can now hit. So once again, this is the regular Mega Fist right here. Completely whiffs. The Kara Mega Fist, however, hits from that far. So we just do the same motion, just quarter circle forward. And all we do is we just hit kick and then punch right away. So the quarter circle forward kick, well, the shoulder charge is forward and kick anyways, right? So if you were just to do quarter circle forward kick, it would wind up being the shoulder charge. And then you just hit punch right afterwards, and it gives our Mega Fist the property of the Kara, moving it much further forward than it normally ever would. So this gives Potemkin the ability to attack from ranges not normally possible. Uh, and this is a very big deal, because like off a counter hit Mega Fist, for example... We can get a lot, a lot, a lot of damage from very far away, right? And that whole technique, uh, we were letting the Mega Fist counter hit, and we're not doing our Roman cancel right away, because that'll be the red Roman cancel. We're letting ourselves land first to do the purple one. And under the time stop of the purple Roman cancel, and the fact that a counter hit 
Mega Fist leaves the enemy crouching, which gives us a little bit more frame advantage to work with. Then all of a sudden, close, medium, slash goes into the gunshot, and the gunshot goes into the Potemkin Buster. And yes, at the end of that combo, that was also Kara Potemkin Buster, because we needed the range, so that's another use for it. But all of a sudden, yes, once again, the Kara technique lets our Mega Fist just become way more threatening from way further away than it ever was. Now, one of the things I mentioned earlier too, the Mega Fist, well, it's punishable on block if you don't space it correctly, right? But what if it wasn't? Huh, how come I could block that time? If I did my Mega Fist, let's see. Okay, did Mega Fist? Oh, it says punish. So why am I able to block? It's because I'm doing the Kara technique on my backwards Mega Fist. Now, the backwards Mega Fist, uh, they played with the rules a little bit on this one uh, versus some of the older betas. So backwards Mega Fist is plus on block normally, uh, but the Kara backwards Mega Fist, the backwards Mega Fist that moves forward, thanks to the Kara technique, it's uh, minus a couple frames, so it's not plus. But once again here, same concept applies. We do our motion here. So in this case, it's horse to go backwards and punch. And right before that, we hit forward and kick, and then we hit punch. So horse to go back, forward, kick, punch. And then we have a moving forward, backwards mega fist. And now to get to the heart of the matter, really, this simply just applies to everything Potemkin has. Uh, what about his gunshot? So that's quarter circle back and heavy slash, right? And hey, when you know it, just like the backwards mega fist, say we add a forward and kick right before we hit heavy slash, what's gonna happen? Well, it turns out we're gonna get a sliding forward gunshot. So if you need just a little bit more range on your gunshot, then well, there you go. The Kara cancel lets you get sliding gunshots. Hey, slide head, important move for Potemkin, right? How about a sliding? Slide head. Turns out, yep, -er, you can get it. So all you gotta do, quarter circle forward slash is slide head. So just hit kick right before slash, and you get a sliding forward slide head because it cancels the beginning of that shoulder into the slide head animation. And then if you need it, there you go, you got it. How about heat knuckle? Same deal. Do the motion, end in forward and kick before you hit heavy slash, and you'll get a sliding forward heat knuckle. This applies to everything. FDB, the flick. That's half circle backslash, right? What if we add just, uh, you know, a little forward and kick before we hit the slash button? What do you think's gonna happen? Wouldn't you know it? We get a sliding forward finger flick. This applies to everything. I know I keep saying this, but I really wanna stress, this applies to all of Potemkin's special moves. And yes, in the ultimate of tech, this even gives you a sliding forward, heavenly Potemkin buster. If you just need that little bit of extra range, you got it, right? So yeah, this technique is baked into everything Potemkin can do. And uh, once again, the sliding grab is probably the most flashy and maybe even most important of them, right? Because like effectively near doubling your grab range is not a small deal, especially for the single most damaging regular non-super grab in the game. So with all that said, that is the technique, that is the tech. So if you're looking to play Potemkin, I highly suggest just give it a shot, try to learn it. Uh, once again, the biggest thing here is, uh, especially for the buster, right? Cause that's the one everyone wants to do. Just do the motion as you always would. Nothing about the motion is changing. All you're doing is adding a kick before you do the punch. So don't overthink it. I've already met some people, they're really overthinking what it is. It's truly that cut, that dry. Just hit kick before you hit punch and then you'll get your sliding command grab. And after all that, my friends, well, I guess that's it for the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Guilty Gear.